Welcome back to another video. Just kidding, and don't start my videos that way. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how to live with purpose and what does it really mean to live a purposeful life. So, if we come down to the number one thing about life, is we are not here by accident. There is a creator and behind the creator there's purpose in creation just like a home builder builds a home for a purpose for somebody to live in the creator built this earth and built us or created us with a purpose to be here and you don't know that purpose i don't know that purpose you don't know that purpose but through life we're here to call to be called to find our purpose and to search for our purpose and what does it mean to be purposeful and what does it mean for something to have purpose is for something to have use for there to be a use case behind something or someone if we ask ourselves how can we be purposeful while living the number one thing that we have to look forward to is what brings us purpose because in a way to serve others or to find purpose is either in service or in love there's no other real two ways that you can feel purposeful if you're not serving somebody or loving somebody but if you're loving somebody you're really serving somebody so it really comes down to service how are you servicing somebody are you helping them in some way are you and in this example or not in this example in this theory i want to specifically talk about society so how are you per being purposeful towards society because i'm not really an expert in how to be a purposeful dad or a purposeful boss or a purposeful and now i have some experience being a purposeful brother but in this case, I just want to talk about society. How can you be purposeful towards society? We're all here to solve problems. So how can you be purposeful in solving society's problems? And that is a question that we all live with. And we have to ask ourselves, how can we provide to people in need and be fulfilled by it? Because that's all what life is really is one person passing down some knowledge to another and then that new person acquiring and using that knowledge to serve others to raise society in any sort of way whether that be spiritual whether that be economical whether that be political but anyway so through our life experiences we're here to find purpose and bring ourselves in a meaningful and purposeful way to live and you can ask yourself in your life what do you do that's purposeful okay you wake up you could be helping around the house that's purposeful but that's not purposeful to society that's just purposeful to your family so when you look back and when you look throughout your day what do you really, really do that brings purpose or some sort of value? And that can come back to the question, when we don't search for purpose and when we don't seek to serve society in some way, that's how it is so easy to fall into depression or anxiety or just uselessness because we're here to be put on this earth to be useful and if you're not being useful you're being useless in a sense so you have to ask yourselves if you ask yourself every day how can i be useful how can i be useful how can i be useful your brain will start thinking in that way and in that sense it will start creating a reality around you for you to figure out ways for you to be useful and for you to br provide purpose to this life and especially for all of my men out there the number one thing that is so important to 
to feel like a man is feeling purposeful because when it go, comes back to our way of thinking, to our way of acting, to our way of giving some sort of purpose or bringing purpose to this life is through service, whether that be protecting, building homes, helping people lose weight, um, welding, any sort of thing of that demeanor. That is how men, and obviously women, can feel purpose. And now that goes back to the question, how does one live a purposeful life? That all comes down to the question of what does purpose mean to you? Do you feel purposeful consuming somebody else's media? Because that's what 95% of people do these days is just consume either TikTok, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Netflix, Amazon Prime, the latest show, the latest movie. Does that bring you purposeful? Do you feel like you're contributing to society in that way? Do you feel like you're helping others get somewhere in life? Like for me, I would just feel selfish because if I don't, if, if, if you don't feel or if you don't think that you're being selfish when you spend most of your days consuming, when you spend most of your days in either relaxation or consumption, you will get depressed. You will get a sense of worthlessness because what do you think you're worthy of? What do you think you're worthy of doing when you're alive? What do you think you're worthy of bringing to this planet? You think you were created to sit in front of a screen and consume media all day or you think you were created to binge the latest Netflix series of too hot to handle or something I don't know why that came to my mind anyway no and it's okay for a very long time not to know what your purpose is and what you're good at but through trial and error is how you find that sense of purpose you're trying things and you're seeing if they work. You're seeing if they'll stick with you. You're seeing if you're any good at it. Like you might dabble in carpentry for a while and you realize, oh shit, I'm really good at this. Maybe I could be a carpenter and provide purpose to society by helping build the biggest and best homes or building the best decks, fences, whatever. Or, and then you might dabble in a little bit of plumbing and you realize, no, I hate this. I don't think I can provide any value or purpose to society with this skill or trade or whatever you like to call it. And that's okay. Like everything is not meant for everyone. Again, everything is not meant for everyone, but everyone has to try everything in quotations to find fulfillment and when i say everything in quotations i mean you have to try so many things to find that one that will stick and you have to try so many things to almost learn more about yourself because through trial and through experience is what you learn nothing will teach you more than life experiences and for example, if I never picked up a camera and tried recording myself or trying to say something, I would never know that I, I like talking to a camera and trying to see if I can get to either persuade your mind to think a different way or to influence you in a way to act in a different way. Because I've done that to other people, but with my words, so I thought, okay, maybe I could do it behind a camera, but I think I can provide some sort of value or purpose to others through doing this. And if it doesn't, and if I get sick of it, then I'll try something else or try something new. But I know I'm going to stay consistent and I'm not going to give up. And that goes into the next thing. Consistency will outbeat and outwin everything. 
you will find purpose and you will feel purposeful after consistency. In the next video is when we'll be talking about how consistency and how staying true to yourself through the hard times will be hard, but it will pay off in the end. Discipline, consistency, and purpose are three of my favorite words. Favorite words to use, their definitions, their meanings behind them, and almost the weight that they carry because it, it, it it's almost a definition of success. If I was to say the three pillars of success, consistency, purpose, and discipline is like a three-legged table for success. Anyway, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to comment, like, share uh, if you found it useful, if you gain some sort of insight. Share the video with somebody if you think that they can benefit from knowing that they were created for a purpose and knowing that they are created to feel purposeful. And that will help them almost have a different aspect and look towards life. Thank you for watching once again. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. God bless. Peace.